and I am going back to Facebook. Hold on, man. This is uh, this is the hard part here. Okay, here we go. Okay, we are going live. I think it we're is. live. We're live. Yay. Hey, <laughs> hey, Harv. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for being here. Oh my gosh. I've been really excited about having this conversation with you today because you are going to inspire so many people, so many women in particular with your story. So for those of you who are just tuning in, thank you so much for watching. Um, this is Harv, everybody. And Harv is a busy mom. She's also a crazy philanthropist. She raises a ton of money for various charities across Vancouver. And I mean, that in itself is inspiring. But I want to talk today about her story in Feel for Fat Loss because um, Harv has not only transformed on the outside and she's looking extra amazing. <laughs> Yeah, I knew you were going to do that, Dan. Um, but she's also transformed on the inside, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. And that's what I want to dive deep with today because there's a story here that is going to, I think, strike um, some chords with a lot of you. And you're going to hear something that is going to just click for you when you, when you hear what Harv has to say about how she has made some big shifts with her mindset. So yes, some big shifts with her food and her fitness we'll talk about, but big shifts with her mindset. So Harv, let's dive in. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about what your journey has been like? Like, where were you before Fuel for Fat Loss? I think I was on a uh, low calorie, working out like crazy, not eating the right food, calorie co counting, and feeling tired and bloated all the time. And it was kind of like my generation of women, that's what you do. You work out like crazy, you don't eat enough, and you're winning. But then when you actually try to remember stuff, you use your brain capacity to its fullest, and you're not feeling good. Like you're just not feeling good on the inside. Mm -hmm. so, so just um, not know, like actually avoiding certain foods. It's like avoiding dairy, avoiding peanut butter, um, avoiding like healthy fats because, oh, you're going to get fat. Yes. Um, and and, and not you, were, you were worried about those calories. So you were right. really calorie counting right. and you're like, okay, if I add more food, I'm going to be adding more fat. That's right. That's right. Which is... Or I can add food, but just not eat the fat. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, and, and so essentially you felt like you were dieting. You felt like you were depriving yourself. Oh no, I, I don't think I was, I, I definitely was depriving myself now, now that it was the way I'm eating. But at the time I was just like, well, if I want to stay this size, I, this is how I, this is how everyone does it. So mm -hmm, I should, because mm -hmm. there's no, there's no method out there because I, I know instinctively diets don't work. Yeah. Uh, so I've never done diets, but I've always kind of avoided this, um, added that or just the latest fad, whatever friends are doing mm -hmm. and not really honoring myself and what I need for myself as I'm getting older and, you know, following, you know, just, just bad, creating bad habits on top of bad habits. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And so, so tell me a little bit, like, what does your day look like now? So it's interesting because I just came back from Whistler with the weekend after weekend with my husband. Yeah. And normally I just go with the flow because he's one of those people that eats whatever and nothing happens. But here I was, I was saying, okay, this is what I'm going to eat for breakfast. Here are my snacks. Everything is organized and planned. And then there's no like social shame around it because I think a lot of times we don't eat right or eat well because we are afraid of inconveniencing others around us. Mm -hmm. And by inconveniencing others, I mean, I'm at a party and I've got my veggies in a bag or, in a <laughs> or I'm eating on my way to somewhere. Yeah. And only because I instinctively know when I get there, I'm going to be hungry and I'm not going to have good choices. So with my husband, it was like, okay, we're going for a bike ride. I've got my smoothie in the car, in the cooler. I've got all that stuff. So when we leave Pemberton, he's going to have a burger. I'm not going to have that burger because my treat night was my treat meal was later. Right. So being able to actually say that and not succumb to pressure, because a lot of times what we do and women are, we do this all the time is we'll say, okay, that's okay. I'll start tomorrow and we'll have the fries and we'll have the wine and we'll have, and then you feel terrible because that wasn't, that's you the worst part. 
your work in your part is, is coming off of a weekend. And I've had those weekends. Like, I'm not perfect. And I've, you know, um, especially I think also when you're in a relationship and, you know, with someone and um, just my new days with Travis, I remember I'd have some weekends where I was just eating junk all weekend long. And men can just eat like that and get away with it. <laughs> right? Yeah. And, and then I would come Monday and I would feel terrible. Yeah. And at the end of the day, we want to feel good. So it's so good to hear that. Like, here you are, you're, you're, you know, you're eating um, regularly now. And a lot more food. A lot more food. A lot more food. And I'm like super, like, I am so tight. My body is so tight right now. <laughs> yeah. like, I've always been skinny, but I've always yeah. been kind of not healthy skinny. Now it's like, oh, oh my God, it's like tight. It's shrinking. And it's like, feels like good. And I'm not, and I'm eating. Like I'm eating 1,600 calories a day, whereas before I was eating 1,000 to 1,200, plus I was working out like crazy, and my stomach was never this flat. So. I think so many people have to hear that, especially the calories, because um, so many women in particular are like, oh my gosh, I can't eat more than 1,000 or 1,200 calories in a day. I mean, food equals fat. I, you know, I'm, I need to cut it back. And that is absolutely not the case. You need to be eating the right amount of calories for you. And you've figured that out, which is just amazing. Um, so what has been the biggest game changer for you? Well, there's been a lot of game changers, but really my relationship with food in terms of social situations, honoring yeah. myself. So um, you and I were talking last week and I was talking about how when you go, you take your child or you as an adult go somewhere and you have a peanut allergy, you will call up somebody you're, where you're going out for dinner or somewhere and you'll say, listen, I don't eat nuts or I have this dairy allergy and people will accommodate you. But people don't accommodate you when you say, listen, I'm not eating that right now. I'm not <laughs> eating fries. I'm not eating pizza. I'm not, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So and I had a similar situation on the weekend where we hadn't seen a friend in a long time. They came up to, to Whistler and uh, we met them at the Longhorn and they ordered a huge plate of nachos, a huge thing of poutine, ordered a huge thing of beers, and I had a Pellegrino. And his wife was like, well, you're not eating that? And I said, I don't eat like that on this day. I've already, I ate like that yesterday, which I didn't, but it was yeah. like, so you, you had your treat day. You had to without fear, because I think we always feel the, feel the social pressure. Um, and also when you're, you're already thin and you're fit, you feel bad, right? So it was this whole thing about saying, no, thank you. I'm not eating. I only, I only have a treat once a week. Yeah. So I'm not doing that. And that was so empowering for me to do that. And, and I had a great time. I love their company. I enjoyed my Pellegrino yeah. and I left feeling really weightless in the way that I stood up for myself and said, I'm not going to have that. And I think that's been a big thing for me because I, not that I give into peer pressure, but I think my, I don't want to offend people. So I go along with stuff. This is a mindset shift right here because yes. I think a lot of us go into social situations and we're like, oh my gosh, what are people going to think about me? Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, sometimes I don't feel like having a drink and uh, my old self would be like, oh no, what is everyone going to think? Yeah. What is everyone going to say? And oh, they're going to start thinking I'm pregnant <laughs> and yeah. start making, you know, but at the end of the day, like you said, you've got to honor your body, That's you know, right. and you want to feel good. At at the end of the day, it's about you feeling good after this weekend. Now you had your treat day on Saturday and you had, what did you have for your treat day? I actually, uh, we, ha I had, I actually wasn't really a big, like I, we had, my husband had steak and I had a bit of, um, ahi tuna and. That's kind of sweet. You can have that any day. <laughs> but it was the wine. I had a martini. Uh, oh. And I, I had a, like a vodka martini and I had a glass of wine. And so for me, yeah. that was really, and I know that for me, alcohol is the gateway to bad eating. So I know when I have wine, I'm going to want to have chips and I'm going to want to have pizza. So, and it's also like when you're having something once a week, you really, really look forward to it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And also, you know, avoiding those like kind of um like so going back to what happened on the weekend was I left feeling like I'm a grown-ass woman why <laughs> can't I say I'm not eating the poutine like why would I feel bad because at the end of the day I've been working really hard on fuel for fat loss and planning my meals I'm not going to ruin it for a bunch of <laughs> a plate of fries I'm just not going to do that yeah so me, it's because I've seen such great results the mindset for me, it's like, it's, I'm converted, right? So 
I don't deny myself. I don't feel denied at all. I just um, am eating differently, right? It's just, mm -hmm. you know, so, you know, we had a family dinner Sunday and we ordered Indian food and I had tandoori chicken, which is grilled chicken. And I didn't have the naan. I didn't have the right, I didn't have other stuff, but I still mm -hmm. felt great. And normally, because it was my in-laws, I would feel a little bit like, oh, they're going to look at me and say, really? You really need to lose weight or you're not eating that? But they, it's me saying, I'm not eating that right now. It's not my day. Absolutely. And to hear, because, you know, um, food and culture yes. come together in such a big way. And for you to have a, a, an East Indian background, yeah. and for you to still see these phenomenal results. Mm -hmm. I mean, your body is completely transformed and your food is completely transformed, but yet like there's that cultural side of things, you know, with food for you. So the fact that you can still make that happen and still eat the things that you love to, to eat, um, and, and see those results is amazing. But it's also, you know, culture or no culture. My Greek friends, my Italian friends have the same situation where they go to their mama's house and they make their favorite food and you have to say no. But it's your, what are you choosing? Like sometimes, yeah, I break my mama's heart because I won't eat what she <laughs> made. But at the same time, I'm choosing a lifestyle change, right? Mm -hmm. And like, you know, and that's the thing with Feel for Fat Loss. What I found was re-educating myself about food. Yeah. So, you know, you can eat as much celery as you want. You can have a certain amount of hummus every day. There's, you know, um, I mean, there's so, so much fruit you can have. So why are you depriving yourself? Like, so, you know, when I, I remember my first week of fuel for fat loss and, and leading up to my first, my, sorry, my last round, I was in the COVID drinking, eating everything. And then, um, it was a beautiful day and we had some friends around on our patio and I was feeling that, I would love a glass of rosé because everyone was drinking and I had some Greek yogurt and berries and some Pellegrino and I felt better, instantly better. And I don't know if it was because I made good food choices, but I think it was a bit like mm -hmm. I was honoring myself. Mm -hmm. I think the biggest thing for me was I can, like, I don't have to do that. I think this is the message that I want to get across to everybody today is, is really honoring your body. And I, you know, there was a mindset shift that I made um, when I was heavier and that was, I only get one body, yeah. you know, I only get one body and one life. Like, what are we going to do with this body? And for me, it was so much more than just releasing 65 pounds. It was, I want to feel good at the this end of the amazing. day. 65 pounds is amazing, by the way. Wow. Thank you. And you know, it's really about, um, honoring yourself having this lifestyle, like we're not saying ever to deprive yourself. No, gosh, no, never. No, no, no. And here you are, you're eating a, an odd 400 calories more per day than you were before. So you're definitely not depriving yourself no. and you're enjoying fruit. A lot of people think, oh, well, I can't eat fruit. It blows my mind, you know, oh, I'll eat candy all day long, but oh, I can't eat fruit. Like that's mm -hmm. not for you, <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, um, you know, we're, we're eating things that are good for you that we're, it's, you know, we're, we're eating things that are based on whole nutrition. And labels, reading labels. I'm mm -hmm. like reading, I used to think certain bar, granola bars were great, in which they actually are. They have four or five ingredients, but it's like, but I didn't make it. Somebody else did. So if I can make that at home, yes. why wouldn't I eat that? So it's, yes. it's actually eating whole, complete foods. Mm -hmm. and yeah. And my and skin is better. Look at my skin. Your skin looks amazing. Your energy levels, like look at your energy. I just feel yeah. like when I talk to you, I'm like, you raise my energy about five notches. And I yeah. love what you just said about making your own food. And this is something, um, you know, you've, you've said before to me that you really love the meal prep aspect because it's got you super organized yeah. and making your own food is, is so important, especially in the beginning, because that way we can control what is mm -hmm. in that food. And I'm so excited because you are jumping into VIP in two days. We Yay! Start the days. <laughs> and um, this is your first month in VIP and you are going to get so many new recipes. Our VIPers will tell you that the recipes are crazy good. And this is where we want to just give you as much as you possibly can handle um, in, you know, feeding yourself, feeding your family, feeding your husband, mm -hmm. feeding your kids um, and making it really fun and exciting as you go. And also the community and feel for fat loss. That's the other thing that really changed change for me is because when you're on this island, I call this like this dieting body island, you really think you're alone. You really think that you're the only one who's bloated. You're the only one who's <laughs> exercising like crazy and not losing weight. You're the only one who is trying different food situations and can't seem to find a balance. And then you go on this Facebook group and you, you find this community and you're like, 
what? There's more of me out there. And, and you know, when you, when you say don't post private messages, post it publicly. Yeah. I mean, I posted some really like, um, questions. Like I really was like vulnerable and I posted some questions and there were people saying, yeah, yeah, that's me too. I have that same question. Mm -hmm. So the, I think that's what it is. I think people with feel for fat loss is the community is really amazing because people are coming together saying, really, I can't eat that. Or, Oh, I could eat as much as I want of that. Oh my gosh, I'm eating so much food and I'm losing weight. What? So I think that is the big thing is that we don't talk about it. Yeah. We all have our own little, like I remember going through a phase, not even, I'm not even, I don't think I've ever told you, but I would work out and I would take these fat burning pills. Okay. Work out, take these fat burning pills, be like blah, 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 all day. And then I also used to do intermittent fasting, which I stopped as of, um, um, feel for fat loss. I stopped it altogether because it doesn't work for me. Like I would eat my last meal at seven and eat the next one at, at 11 AM. And between that time, my body is like holding on to fat, holding on to food. And then as soon as I did this, I think that was the, another huge shift for me that mm -hmm. diets don't work. Like a lifestyle change works, which I can change. Absolutely. We get a lot of people come to the program who have tried intermittent fasting before and was not successful about it or with it. And I've dabbled with it myself and I just found it, it definitely did not work for me. Mm -hmm. And this is something like what we're doing together. This is something that I've been playing with for 23 years. Mm -hmm. And I find that it works every single time. And it's so simple. And, and like, I just want to congratulate you because you have created a lifestyle and it's so mm -hmm. effortless for you. And to see you just vibrating so high right now and like coming off of a weekend, you know, with friends and your husband, but like you made choices and you yeah, felt good. Right. You didn't deprive yourself, but you ate well and um, you had your treat day. It's really like you're, you're just, you are living your best life right now. And it's so inspiring to see. And I just, I hope that this inspires others to know that mm -hmm. you're not alone. Like you said, you're not alone on this island, um, that we have all gone through this. You're not the only one that's bloated, um, mm -hmm. you know, but you don't need to be under eating and over exercising. That's not going to work for you. And um, that there is really a better way and a, a, a simpler way and just like what you're doing. So well, the other thing I want to add with yeah. the fat loss, one more thing was one of the things that you have us do at the start is take measurements. Yes. You take your measurements, you weigh yourself and like, we don't realize. So for me, the changes were like, I lost four and a half inches and I lost Huge. five pounds, but it was all in the areas where I've struggled, which is so crazy because I have muscle, but then you're like, Oh my gosh, that's where I wanted to lose. So it's interesting how we actually only focus on the scale. And I've always only focused on the scale. I've never actually measured myself. And that and was you did photos and your photos are like amazing. Can I put them in the, the comments below after this? No, <laughs> they're so good. I'll take oh my head because they don't. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't show your face, and that's okay. We would we don't have to, but they're so good. And here's what I want to um, say about that because I love what you just touched on. We take measurements, we take photos, and um, we do the scale. And so for you, you lost five pounds, amazing. Four and a half inches, amazing. But when you do all three and you see that transformation in a three-dimensional oh, yeah. way, it's amazing. Because before, if you had just done the scale, you'd be like, oh, okay, right? Like that's, that's okay. But that's, you know, not the full view of, of the change that you were experiencing. And also, I, the reason I signed up for a VIP is because it didn't change. I actually got tighter. My, my abs got tighter. So I was like, okay, I need the support to keep going. Because it's also really easy in the summertime to get off like your, you know, and we're human after all. And we let things go like a one cheat day becomes three, three cheat days become a week. So I think it's also, I know I need accountability. Yeah. I need to be part of a group that will say you can do it, or this is what I did today, or here's my meal plan. Yeah. So, and for me, I'm alone in my home, right? I've got a family member that eat whatever they want and doesn't make a difference. So for me to even put my hand up and say, I'm not eating that. I'm going to actually eat that. Wow. That was like, so if I can do it with my family, who I really yes. care about. Yes. Okay. Next we got, you get, we got to get your family on board. <laughs> I know. Right. Well, they, like, they eat everything I make, but they're like, why do you have to take mom? Why do you have to take smoothie in the car? <laughs> why? No. Why do you have no, what was the latest? Why do you always have almonds in your bag? <laughs> <laughs> mommy doesn't buy a croissant with her coffee. That's why mommy has almonds in her bag. 
to mommy doesn't buy a donut. That is so good. <laughs> okay, donut. Got, that's like a quote we got to put somewhere. Why do you have almonds in your bag, mom? <laughs> well, it's the same thing. Chicken, chicken in a Ziploc bag. Mm -hmm. You know, when I know I'm going to someone's house and they're not going to have good meal, like they're not going to yeah. have food that I'm going to eat. Yeah. I have chicken in a bag. I love it. Okay. That's amazing. That's going a whole nother extra mile. <laughs> Well, Harv, thank you so much for being here and for sharing your story. And for those of you who are struggling, I hope that this has been just a little bit inspirational because um, you should not struggle. You do not need to be struggling. There is a better way. And, uh, you know, to make those, those mindset shifts as well, you know, that is what is going to give you long-term lasting results right here is all of these mindset hacks really that you have mastered so thank you so much for sharing them harv and um if you have any questions for harv um you can post in the comments below i'm sure she'd be happy to answer them and uh, congratulations on all of your success and i'll be seeing you in vip yeah can't wait i can't thank wait you. Okay, okay bye, bye.